My name is Mike Delamano. I'm the uh, I'm the head coach of the girls swim team over at Brookline High School. Uh, it's my first year on the job. Um, however, I've had you know several years uh, coaching experience and uh, numerous years swimming experience or experience with the sport prior to this. My team goals and my individual goals for these girls are kind of one and the same in that what I want for each swimmer is for the by the end of this season for them to perform at the best of their ability. But what our record turns out to be, how we swim as a team, is only going to reflect how each individual girl is doing. You know, being able to motivate them without getting them too anxious about what they're doing here, without stressing, you know, results or performance too much. It's kind of balancing a fine line, trying to get them to do their best without kind of going over the top and making them too anxious about swimming, which can be detrimental to what they end up being able to do here. This is the last time thing I wanted, you know, things, you know, certain things have to happen, but in terms of a strictly work, workload point of view, it's been a top hat, it's thrown us way off, all right? So that's where your body's at right now. As long as mentally you're here right now, we're gonna get something out of this, okay? He is a really, really great guy, and I think out of all the coaches that we've had, he's definitely the most personable and has gotten to know us more on a personal level, and I think that's really helped, and because I feel like I have kind of a different relationship with him than I have with our previous coaches, I feel like, you know, he can push me more, and he definitely has. I've dropped a lot of time this season, and he's done a really great job with the team. So when the buzzer goes off, you release that block, throwing those hands forward, and you're firing off as quickly and as far as you can. Does that all make sense? So your hips are, again, your hips are higher than your shoulders, your head is down, and your legs, what I want to try for right now, at least with all of us, is your legs are pushing up against the resistance of your hands, which are holding onto those blocks. I mean, you begin to enjoy the competitive aspect of the sport. It can be fun and competitive at the same time. You see if you're aware of where you are, how your times are doing, and how your teammates are doing, and you begin to see the successes people are having and become invested in that, and you begin to enjoy that, you know, cheering for each other, getting each other pumped up, getting each other motivated, supporting each other. And that kind of thing, you know, it starts to form a bond between swimmers and all, you know, it permeates a team. When people become invested in each other's times, and that's reflected in a practice, you know. Nothing magical happens at a meet that you don't put into practice. How you practice, the manner in which you practice is going to dictate uh, the results that you end up having at a meet. The dynamics on the team are very interesting. I learned a lot from watching this team and watching these girls. And I was, you know, in my, my opinion, we had a successful season. The girls take all the credit for that. I mean, I was very, very fortunate to walk into the scene. Oh, dry land's done. We're done with dry land. No more dry land. <laughs>